everyone and welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Um, today I wanted to do a quick project share and a Dollar Tree haul for with some things that I picked up over the weekend. Um, I got a chance to stop into the local Dollar Tree. Well actually there's one that's a little bit outside of my um, town and it's fairly new so they I wanted to stop in and see if they added anything uh, new to their inventory since they had um, opened up, had their grand opening a couple of months ago. While they are not as um, packed as the nearest one to me, they did have some um, things that I thought, uh, that I didn't see at my local one. Um, one of the things that they had was these 10 inch round um, reef, styrofoam reefs. And so I picked one of those up. As you can see, it's 10 inches wide. It's the perfect size for your front door um, without it being too overwhelming if you want something small or even inside. Um, what I did here was I used uh, burlap fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Um, I purchased it in yardage. So I think I purchased maybe two to three yards of it on sale with a coupon. No, I think it was on sale or what or I used a coupon either way I used um, what I did was I t cut two inch strips about um, two three feet long and I used three of those strips to wrap around the styrofoam ring then I used two bunches of the Dollar Tree roses and I cut them off from about uh, two inches from the base of the flower so I cut off the excess stem and then I placed them um, I wanted to use two bunches because it actually I think I might have yeah two bunches and um, to make it to give it a fuller effect and then I also used these daisies I think they are yep daisies here is the tag if you can see and if you're looking for them here is the barcode And then they, I also picked up the decorative birds, which you see here. Aren't they adorable? They are so sweet and cute. Let's see, let's see how many closer. So I put them there like they're resting in a rose tree. And then I also had some lace on hand. These are two different types of lace. Um, I used um, a khaki colored ribbon and wove it inside of this lace ribbon here and then I used that same ribbon to make a loop at the top to hang on the back on the front of the door and then use a little bit more burlap to hide where I glued it down to. So a little bit of hot glue gun, um, Dollar Tree roses, some daisies or whatever your favorite flower is and you too can have in 30 minutes or less a summer reef for your front door. It's so sweet isn't it? Ooh. I was pleased with the end result. So we have that. Put that right here for now. Watch it roll off. I'm pretty sure. It will. Okay and so now let me go into what I purchased. Now I, I oftentimes will um, gift some of my handcrafted um, makes and so on the outside of the packages I always like to have something cute and inspiring some type of sticker or embellishment and so I picked up these stickers here um, they're like a rose color and then like an ant this is like an antique color um, like a powder blue and an antique blue so we got thanks don't stop dreaming and I can also use these in my journal or my planner so we have that and then my son he likes to do his own thing with stickers so he got with his own allowance these uh, let's see some fruits some fun words and shapes and um, so he'll put those in his sticker book and then I also got these and you can use these stickers because um, there's a little bit 
3D, 2D I should say, um, in your cards, on the outside of packages, or um, on pictures. You know, if you want to decorate around them or just put them on some a small little canvas and add some um, lace or trim around it. You've got a quick little, some desk art or a little piece of wall art, and I do mean little. It doesn't have to be huge. Um, I also picked up another timer. It's like the one you see here. This is for my desk. But my son likes to play with them. As you probably noticed in my last tutorial, um, he'll, he's good for grabbing it and running through the house. I'm not sure what he's timing, but needless to say, I am a homeschool mom, so um, I, I like to make sure we keep track of our time, start and end time, so this is good for that. Um, we picked up some glue, glitter glue, which you can use these in a million different projects. And I think it comes in, it says 33 ounces each. I'm thinking that, 0.33 I should say, it's 0.33 per tube. I'm not really good with measuring by eye liquid anything, so don't hold me to it. But needless to say, as you can see on the package, that's what it says, 0.33 ounce each. So, and there's three, six... 10, 10 of them, and actually it says 3.3 .3 ounces total. So yes, it is per, 0.33 per. And we use these to make um, our, we I, per, I got two of these packages, but we use these to make monster rugs over the weekend, which in which case we used a um, toilet tissue roll, a couple toilet tissue rolls, wax paper to cut out and make the wings. Um, the colored pipe cleaner and googly eyes um, and it's just a cute little fun project that um, was fun to make with my son over the weekend while we were waiting for the AT&T guy to come and fix our inter internet lines these are the googly eyes we purchased I got a couple packages of these you know I've got to keep the fun stuff on hand so it's all different colors too, so it's not just the standard black and white. You've got the pink, yellow, green, blue, and it just makes for a fun project. Um, and for, once again, I am a sports mom. I'm a boy mom, so having these um, BPA-free 9-ounce bottles on hand at all times is essential, especially during the summertime when we live in Georgia. So it's always hot here. Well, you know, I'd say 10 months out of the year is hot. And what I usually have is one of these in the refrigerator, in the freezer with water um, so that I can grab it while we're heading out. And we he'll always have something to stay hydrated with. Then he also will have one for his bat bag for his, you know, when he has a baseball game or he has practice. So um, I actually probably should have bought two of them, but they only had one blue. And how dare I grab a purple uh, sports bottle. He, he'd be mortified. And then I also grabbed these um, storage bags, 22. This is for the craft room as well as the kitchen. So um, I'm not sure. I can't speak to the durability of them. This really isn't something you're going to want to put leftovers in because I think they are a little thin but you know for what I intend to use them for they're perfectly fine I also grabbed this Betty Crocker um, sh uh, kitchen shears and if you're like me scissors have a place I don't want my craft scissors in the kitchen and I don't want the kitchen scissors in my craft room so these are dedicated, and one of the things I like about these is I took the, um, twine, you know, the the thing that they use to keep it on in place. I took it off to test the scissors, and the blade, the the blades meet, and they're not flimsy. They're not thin, so which is you often find in the inexpensive butcher blocks with the the, the knives in them. But these are pretty good, so I, I'm I'm not sure how it's going to stand up to cutting meat or anything like that, but. I bought these just for trimming away um, fat and excess off of my meat. So hopefully they'll do the job. And then for myself, because Mama's always got to grab something for just for herself. And yes, it's, it was only a dollar. 
so I didn't feel guilty for buying it. But I bought this vanilla and lavender um, body wash. It's 16 point, it's 16 fluid ounces, so it's a good sized bottle. Um, I, you know, opened it up and gave it a, a sniff test in the store, and I'll be honest, I was in heaven. I almost, it, it smelled like I was relaxing. At the, it felt like I was relaxing at the time as I was as I was sniffing it, but nevertheless, mommy got her something just for her. And then these are the roses. Actually, I only use one bunch now that I realize it and I'm looking at it. I only used one bunch on the reef because it comes with six rose stems. So each bunch will come with six roses. And I like that it's on the wire. So if you want to use them for a centerpiece or something like that, you can. Or you can do like I did and, you know, cut them off using wire cutters or, you know, whatever you can um, detach them with. And then I also, even if I cut them off at lower than the um, base of the stem, I will keep this for either the project that I'm working on or future projects. So I bought um, a few more of those. And then the other bunch that I bought was some orchids. I thought these were really pretty. The fact that they were yellow, and this is not red. It's more like a um, raspberry color. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six stems here. I purchased two of those. Here's the tag. It says orchids. And take a look at the color. So it's really rich and vibrant. I like that. And then I was hoping to make something of, I think they call them a spray. I'm not sure if that's the word. And the, you florists out there, feel free to correct, co correct me in the comments. But I wanted to um, put this on uh, maybe a floral. There's a term, and I cannot remember the name of it, but it almost looks like straw, but I know it's not. That behind it and... Um, apply this to the front of it and along with these one of these daisy clips that I found See the clips in the back So I wanted to use one of these and then place this in the center and that also can be used as a door hanger Something like that obviously I'd have to work it a little bit more but if you can see and that, I think that would be so cute and possibly put a couple of butterflies in there with the little glitter and what have you so I think when I go into the Dollar Tree I, I usually have a budget of about $20 that is a self created budget it isn't something that you know my allowance um, it isn't how much I made for the week but it is something I try to make sure that I stay within a certain dollar amount my, my son usually comes in with a $4 budget or a $5 budget based on whatever's in his wallet not that he's working but um, <laughs> but he needs his own budget for his Hot Wheels and his sticker collection. And so he usually has his own, you know, four or five minutes in the toy aisle. Um, and then mommy heads off to the different areas. The last thing I purchased was these um, storage bins. Now to give you an idea of the size they are, um, let's take one of this. I can fit my notebook in here perfectly which is great because I have quite a few that need their own home um, but these will go on my shelf in here in my craft room um, to house paint brushes um, paint and spray paint cans um, everything in this room needs a home and I hate looking for things because they're all spread out so um, I am going to do another tutorial on the reef that I made. So if you check back, um, you will likely see a video on how to accomplish this with ease and for probably about 4 to $5. Again, you'll need some lace. So I'll go over all of that in the next tutorial. Oh, I had to stop back 
to show you guys these um, candle holders that I purchased from the Dollar Tree um, a couple of days ago. I bought them with the sole purpose of um, creating goblet style candle holders for my bedroom that I am in the process of um, updating and I wanted to try and give it a more romantic look and um, while my husband is out of town I'm, I have a little bit more flexibility in, um, in moving things around and adjusting it so I grabbed these taper candle holders from the Dollar Tree they are about let's see four inches the base of it is about three inches and then in addition to that I purchased these votive candle holders and my what I designed just decided to do was to take these uh, using E600 which is a really good adhesive um, adhere the votive candle holder to the taper candle holder and when those are dry I will paint the outside of them with um, a spray paint that is good for glass and probably white I'm thinking white and then embellish them with whatever rhinestones and um, charms or lace or trim or whatever it is that I have on hand and um, I want to give my bedroom a more sophisticated or romantic look so these are this is one of the things that I'm um, gonna work on and I probably will create a tutorial for it if you have done something similar feel free to drop a picture or um, actually drop a comment in the link below um, also I want to encourage you all to if you love creating like I love creating hop over to the maker exchange it's a Facebook community dedicated to celebrating the love of creativity um, there you'll find a fabulous group of other makers and um, creative entrepreneurs and um, they oftentimes will um, share with the group whatever they're working on so um, it's a great place to hone your craft inspire others while being inspired by others so hop over there it's the maker exchange which is the Facebook group um, and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and until we see one another again be encouraged be blessed and take care thanks for watching